A quick tutorial today on how to replace a base and waste in this vanity unit. Really straightforward, you don't need to get a plumber in for this, it's so, so simple. When I've taken the old one out, I'm just going to show you the comparison with that one and with this new one that I've got. Um, basically, I made a huge mistake. I bought something cheap off eBay. I installed it and it's been nothing but trouble. It sticks, it's corroding. This one shouldn't have that problem at all. Uh, and there's a few other benefits as well, but I'll show you when I take this one out. So this is the base and waste that we're actually taking out. And as you can see, it was a matte black one, um, a bit like the tap that's up here but all the surface has come off it. So you've just got the alloy underneath it. And when you press this down to retain the water, you can't get it back up again. You've got to use a plunger to, to lift it out. Um, the one that we're replacing it with, it's a like for like in as much as it's got an overflow slot in it. So that obviously if the water is going in and this is down, it will go out of the overflow down the back and into the waste and then out. Now, the first thing that we've got to do is access the trap that's underneath the waste. And to do that, what I'm going to have to do is actually take this drawer out so that I can access the waste there. And so that was nice and easy to do. If you've got anything like this and the drawer won't lift out, if you just have a look underneath, you've got something like this that holds the, um, the drawer sits on top and then this is held in place by this. You just pull that out and then it lifts off. And now we've got easy access to the trap and all we'll be doing is unscrewing that there. Uh, well, I'll take you through it anyway, but the first thing we need to do is unscrew this. Now there will be water in this trap. So I'm just going to plunge from the top, which will force a lot of the water through the rear pipe work there. So there'll hardly be anything left in it. Just going to put an old towel underneath it just to catch any drips of water. Just saves clearing up afterwards. Right, the next step is we just un unscrew this. And that's how simple it is. Just take that off, drop that out. You've got the water there. I'll probably give this a clean up as well, actually. So that stays there. And now we need to take this big nut off there. And I might need to, uh... yeah, it's not on finger tight. I'll just go and get a pipe wrench. Okay, so here's the pipe wrench. I've opened it up to its maximum. Th these only need to be on finger tight. I must have uh, tightened it previously, but pop that on and... And unfortunately that was on a lot tighter than it needed to be. Once you get it moving, you can take it off with your fingers. I'm actually having to stop the waste from turning by holding it in the sink. Okay, that's it, it's off. Let's take the waste out and have a look at it. All right, so this is the waste that we've taken out. Uh, as you can see, all the matte finishes come off and you're just left with the burr metal there. Um, yeah. So it sticks in, I'm not going to show you just yet, but it does stick in. And the other trouble with it is there's not very much room for the water to escape down there. So it, the sink empties really slowly as well. Now all that's going to be cured with the new one. Right, and if I just hold them side by side, you can see the difference there. Uh, so the top here just pushes down, that's in place, lifts up nice and easy. This one, push it down and it's stuck not going anywhere absolutely useless this only cost about probably five or six pound more than this one but but it's a complete and utter world away uh, that's your your basin sorry that's your overflow hole there so you can see here this this hole at the back leads up to this so any water that comes up goes to the overflow comes down goes into there and then out of the waste pipe right okay all we need to do now is just take this off Pop that to one side. We're going to remove those. 
we're going to leave this one on because that is what's going to seat into here. I'll give that a quick clean up, but you don't need to use any putty or anything. That'll just seat in and that'll seal it properly. Let's do that. Right, let's seat the waste in it. Before I do that, I'm just something else that you can do with this that you couldn't do with the other one. You can screw the top off it. So I'm just going to pop that to one side just so that I can see what's going on. That sits in there now, nice and tight once it's screwed on. And we'll screw it on from underneath by using these two and then this. All right, so the waste is underneath there. We'll just pop these washers on. So this, this first one is the seal. So that's going to seal on there. The second one is so that the nut doesn't damage the seal. So that goes on there. And then let's just screw it on. I'm just going to make sure that the hole in the waste marries up with the hole from the overflow. And then we'll tighten it up. And I'm not going to over tighten it. I'm literally just going to finger tighten it. And if there's any leakage afterwards, I can tighten it more, but just finger tight should be fine. So that's that done. And now I'm going to clean this and then pop that back on. Right, so I've cleaned it. Let's get it back up. That just pops into there like that. And if there is any leakage, then all you need to do is just put some PTFE tape around it. And that should cure anything that's leaking. Really easy to do. Just remember, there's no there's no pressure in this pipe. It's literally just gravity and st standing water. And that's it, all done. So we'll just screw the top back on. And pop that down, turn the water on. And one sink waste perfectly fitted. And to empty it, press it, and that's emptying so much quicker than the other one did. So don't buy cheap rubbish. Make sure you buy something a little bit more expensive that means that you don't have to revisit it. Now there is actually a leak on it uh, and it's on the thread. So I'm going to, I've already put some PTFE tape where it attaches to the waste. I'm going to put some PTFE tape up here as well where, where it secures it to the base and, uh, and that should cure it. So this is the PTFE tape. And all you do is you wrap it round, you wrap it round the thread, but you have to wrap it round clockwise. Like so. And what this does is it seals the thread up. So basically no water can escape down through the thread. And this will definitely cure any leaks that I've got. Again, no need to use any putty to bed it in because that wouldn't cure this anyway. So once you've got that on, all you do, just pull it, just put a bit more on down at the bottom. Water will always find a way of getting out. But as I say, this cures that issue. PTFE tape costs nothing and does a fantastic job. Right, and we're ready to go. Okay, so we've got the PTFE tape around the top. That stops any leaks there. We've got the PTFE tape around the bottom. Let's get it. Start it off. And the unfortunate thing is, I'm actually missing a rubber seal out of this, but hopefully, that's going to resolve the problem with all the PTFE tape. Right, done. All right, so we'll turn the tap on, see if there's any leaks. And nothing. We'll put the plug in and run it. Excellent. And release the water. And it drains so much quicker than 
the last one. All done. The miracles of PTFE tap. Apart from it working perfectly, unlike the previous ways, one of the great benefits of this Keens one is, because it unscrews and comes off, you can actually get a, a cleaning rod down there if it gets blocked. With the other one, you just had no chance of doing that and you could just use liquids. But this is a much better design. So there you have it, literally took five minutes. As long as you can access the trap underneath it, it's nice and simple. Uh, you don't, as I said, need a plumber to get involved. You don't need to pay the cost for that. Just buy the new basin waste, get it fitted, have some PTFE tape just in case, and away you go.